Okay, thank you very much, Minister, for being with us today at the Elcano Institute. It was a pleasure to, to, to have you here with us. And I would like to make you a couple of questions about the, the current situation in your country, in Qatar, and, and the crisis that is undergoing the region. So my point will be, uh, how can you explain, is there any reason for, for this crisis to unfold? I mean, wh what are the origins of this? How, how can you explain? Really, you know, uh, it was uh, so surprising for us, because even though uh, in last Ramadan, you know, it's a holy month. All people fasting early morning, at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, they, you know, they issued the, the three countries, you know, their decisions to blockade Qatar, cut diplomatic relations, close borders, close airspace, close uh, ship, shipping transportation, without even one reason. Even though before you know, their decisions, you know. Our Emir was in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, you know, attending, you know, uh, what they call, uh, you know, tr when uh, President Trump visited Riyadh, and uh, then they have what they call Islamic uh, countries conference with the President of USA. They, you know, the Saudi Arabia King invited our Emir there. It was nicely, it was the talk, and discussed all the challenge, you know, that uh, Islam, and you know, what the Muslims countries facing, you know. Their excuse, you know, first of all, you know, they, you know, they hacker our uh, Qatar news agencies. And they, uh, you know, pretending that His Highness the Emir would give a speech, you know, who, who never he give it, uh, you know, um, supporting tourists. Supporting Taliban, da you know, uh, Daesh, supporting Nasr. You know, I don't know, you know, what, you know, what it means that uh, then we find out that this speech never been exist. And then we find out that this is, was been, even the, we asked the FBI and the British intelligence to help us to tracking where, where the hackers came. And the f even the Washington Post, after a few weeks, they published an article saying that the FBI confirmed that this hacker came from Abu Dhabi. So this is unfortunately, you know, I'm very sad, you know, to see a country as Abu Dhabi or Saudi Arabia or Bahrain, you know, including Egypt, one of them, uh, they are, you know, creating, you know, a fake news a fake, you know, that never, you know, news never been infected. And then they start, you know, to attack Qatar. When we, the world, the whole world discovered that this is a hacker and made in Abu Dhabi, they change their attitude and then they start to accuse Qatar that they are financing terrorism. And then we say, please give us your evidence. You cannot just accusing me that I'm financing terrorism without evidence. W whom we finance them, how we transfer the money, and with whom. Even though when uh, we sign with the United States an agreement of working together to fight financing the terrorism, Rex Terrorism, the state, you know, the uh, Secretary of State, of state Department, of USA ask the others to join Qatar in this agreement and still they don't sign it. So this is show that they have no evidence, they have just, they trying to, you know, with no cause and we don't know why and we still we don't know why they trying, you know, to accuse Qatar by, you know, uh, a crime never been exist. For instance, for instance, you know, we ask Abu Dhabi, you know, I asked them even when I had an interview with Al Jazeera TV, I said, you accusing us by financing ter terrorism, where you are buying from us a huge quantity of gas, you know, we received from you hundreds of millions of dollars every month. How you buy from our ga you know, gas and you pay to us this huge amount of money and you are accusing us we are financing terrorists. So this is what I call the hypocrite. So it's a double standard. They now try, you know, even when uh, the whole, when Europe also, or they ask them, where are your evidence? When they travel to whole Europe, trying to convince them 
to blockade Qatar. Europe ask one question because Europe is a free, f free world. Ask them where your evidence. Convince us that Qatar is financing terrorists, and they never, even, you know, published any evidence. So the whole world, you know, believe and they find out that their accusations with no evidence. So still, uh, really, is a very confused. We don't know why they use Qatar as an enemy. And I believe maybe they have a hidden agenda, you know, to pass some resolutions. And they, they want, you know, their public directed to other, you know, side of the problem. And this is what I am confident. There is only this is what I believe. There is no evidence. They cannot even, uh, you know, approve it. And they just, you know, repeating, repeating the same liar. You know, th I think they learn from Goebbels. Lie, lie, until you believe it. So still they lie, create liar. And they want the other believe it, where the, uh, the other, they will not believe it. And given this situation, this particular situation, and based on your extensive experience on, on the energy markets and the oil market, uh, how do you think this situation can unfold in the future? Do you think it can affect somehow the energy markets? Uh, I mean, Qatar is a very important supplier for Spain. At, at least uh, seven, eight percent of our gas came from no, Qatar. No, no, no. They, they will not be affected. I told you, we are selling LNG to Dubai and a pipeline to uh, Abu Dhabi, and they still, you know, continue buying this gas. So we are, we are confident that the market is not affected, mm -hmm. and we know that our, we are the biggest LNG producers in the world. O many countries, you know, we are, you know, for instance, UK, 30% of their needs. And, uh, now we are Spain, Italy, uh, Belgium, uh, you know, Poland. Even in Asia, we have Japan, we have uh, Korea, China, Taiwan, uh, Thailand, China. Uh, India, Pakistan, and now Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. uh, so we believe that we are the bi the biggest uh, player in the il in the international uh, LNG market in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So the whole world trusting Qatar that is the most rareable, you know, supplier, and we will continue to do so. So we are not being affected because you see. The Gulf countries is a very important of supplying the others, you know. Even if you remember, you know, the Iranian-Iraqi war, eight years. Yeah. You remember the Iraq invade Kuwait. Uh, all, you know, uh, uh, never been affected even the supplier at all. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.